Oh, there's Lori. I love Lori. I want to see this painting. I'd never be able to afford it, but I'd like to see it. I'm a big fan of Lori's. Well, thank you. Yeah, I I love your band. I love your um, strength. I love your courage. Yeah. Okay. I love how you talk to all those guys. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, but I, I like those guys too. I just don't know everybody so well. Okay. But I really like how you stood up for yourself. And your dad's a great singer. So quickly, do you want to introduce Lori, your, I drew your a paint? Of you. Okay. Did you know that? I, I've heard that. I want really, to see did it. You tell her? I'm about I to wanted, present the picture. She's my favorite I, character. I want to be able to afford it, but well, I'd like to see you it. can. You, you, it's for free. Oh, really? Yeah. So oh, I would say a Quigley portrait. So William Quigley has painted uh, Donald Trump for the White House. So the uh, Trump portrait is uh, currently in the White House. Okay, that goes for around sixty-five grand. Yeah, I just looked it up. Yeah. So let me show people if they don't know. I mean, I don't want anybody out there to think that William Quigley is just like a blurry camera. He's <laughs> a lot more than that. He painted Donald Trump for the White House. Donald Trump bought that painting. So I'm going to show it to you guys. Uh, Just give me a second. Let's see. Where do I find that? Okay. So he painted these paintings. I'm going to show you these before I show you Lori. So here's Donald Trump. So he's painted uh, Abraham Lincoln, Ethan Hawke, many celebrities. But Trump was the one that I think really made him famous. Um, So that's exciting that he went from, I think that might have been his last painting that he painted. Um, Sugar, uh, you know, being that uh, Trump, you know, Trump was his last portrait and then Lori was his next portrait. I mean, wow. how much do you think this painting would be worth if William Quigley were to send this to Lori Bolton? How much do you think she could sell it for? It is very difficult in the artwork to in the art world to determine the worth of paintings because at the end of the day, they go on auction and paintings are worth what somebody is willing to pay for them. The art world is nuts. But if the Trump painting is worth sixty thousand, then Lori's painting is worth at least ten thousand. That's where I would start the bidding. Okay, so we'll start the bidding at ten thousand. Um, I would say that Quigley should just send you the painting, but let's look at the painting first and then you can all make your bids. Okay, so let me find it. It's coming up. Here it is. Okay. <laughs> what do you think of that, Lori? It's, it's nice. It's nice? Yes, it's nice. It's nice. That's it? (laughs) Lori, look at it again. Um, It's pretty. It's pretty, right? So what I'm thinking is that you should hold on to that painting for a while. Don't sell it immediately. Actually, let's see what Quigley says to do. Quigley, um, would you suggest people sell your paintings immediately because of the value, or should they hold on to them? Well, it's a tough question. Lori, I'm sorry if you don't like it. I just tried, I just, you know, I just, I, it was a drawing I made off the internet. Right. And Lori, Elise was telling me a little bit about the scenario with, you know, you're not comfortable being like, you know, labeled a Muslim. And, um, so, and you know, I, any connotation that you may have based on this drawing, I, yeah, I did put a lot of kind of heart into your piece. So, and it's, a, it's just a drawing. It, it, like it I, looks like me. It looks like me. That's for sure. Yeah. I like your eyes a lot. So well, thank I didn't, you. I didn't put your glasses on. I think you have like beautiful lips and, you know, and I just think you're a very strong person and you kind of represent to me based on the show, you just represent like what it kind of encompasses to be a strong woman. Mm-hmm. So, which well, I kind of like. I've, you know, I've I had a lot of strong women in my life. So I, I, I take inspiration from them. 